Hey nerd family and welcome back to another video. After I filmed the first video with CNN Plus, before I decided to go back to the website and take a look and see if it had already launched, because by the time I released that video, it was already past midnight in California, meaning that it would already be out for me at around the 10 o'clock mark. So I went back to the website and it looks like it had already launched. So I decided to go ahead and film this video here for you. So we're going to take the first look here at CNN Plus. But before I get into that, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and staying healthy. If you haven't already checked out the nerdcircle.com, make sure you head over there and check it out. Also, make sure you're following along on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Real Nerd Circle. We post some things over there when it's not quite time for a video just yet, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to head over there. And if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to do so, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It definitely helps us out as we're trying to grow the channel. We are on our way to 500 subscribers. I definitely appreciate everyone for subscribing. You will see your name scrolling across the bottom if you're a new subscriber since the last video. And all the subscribers will be scrolling across over on the side. So I want to thank all the subscribers. Again, you're definitely helping us out, so we really appreciate it. If you do like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. So again, you're helping us out. Now that we got that all out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at CNN Plus here. Up at the top, you're going to see Featured, Browse, interview club and tv channels now the tv channels is going to be locked unless you have an actual um, cable service that you uh, subscribe to so we're really not going to be able to do too much in there but we'll check it out you do have a little ad with watch and more and then you're going to scroll down you have get to know our live shows and you have some live shows there it tells you what time they're on and you can scroll across and see more now, one of the things everyone's talking about now is the whole Will Smith thing here, so they do have some information about that. All right, and as we scroll down, you do have some more categories. You've got New This Week, and you can scroll there and see what's new. You have Popular on CNN+. Plus. Of course, we're going to scroll across there. All right. And then uh, you keep going down, you do have interview clubs. So like I said, I think that's going to be their bread and butter here is this interview club where you can see the different interviews and you can interact live and ask questions and get those questions answered. So we got that. You do have uh, category time travel here. We got small town crimes. Now, I'm not sure because I'm not a huge CNN fan, like I've said. They have this thing that says to catch a serial killer. I don't know how long that's been going. I don't know if they're trying to compete with Netflix's uh, How to Catch a Killer. I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what it's all about. Any of you CNN fans that know, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Now, we do have a binge-worthy series here, so we can uh, take a look and see what they got there. All right, looks like some good stuff there. All right, underneath that, we're going to have our CNN Films. So we can take a look and see what we got there. Now, I believe some of these CNN Films are currently over on HBO Max. I don't know how long they're going to stay there, but I believe they are. We do have a category that says Famous Families there. We got Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown. We have Inside the White House. All right. And then uh, as we continue to go down here, we also have Critically Acclaimed. We have what you missed in history class and getting towards the end here we do have go behind the music i don't know how long cnn's been in the music game here but you guys will have to let me know down below but they it looks like they do have some things with music so trying to compete a little bit with mtv i guess there or vh1 and then you have real life miracles so probably some more like true story type stuff there so definitely no shortage of content and definitely no shortage of categories or genres of ways to find things. So let's go ahead and check out Browse up at the top again here. 
So when you check it out, you're gonna first thing you're gonna see is trending. So as it loads them in here, we're gonna have some uh, some trending uh, content there. So you can kind of get a little glimpse of it there. Pretty much everything we saw up in the front. You do have A to Z. So I like to sort A to Z so you can really find what you're looking for. Um, so we got the A to Z option there. You do have one that says live shows. Not a whole lot going on in there, but you do have live shows. And then you have some other categories you can break down. Politics, history, pop culture, food and travel. Might be interested in some of that. You got uh, race and identity. And then the one we're looking at now is true crime. Let's take a look at the interview club. Again, like I said, I think it's going to be their bread and butter here. At least that's what I believe it to be. So when you open that up here, you have some other subcategories, but it tells you, welcome to the interview club. You ask the questions, we'll find the answers. Let's go beyond the headlines with experts you trust. Team up with CNN Plus' audience to dive deep into the issues you care about most. You can, of course, learn more or scroll down. You have the upcoming interviews, so it shows you what time they're going to be at shows you a little bit about what the interview is and of course you can see all the different interviews that are coming up so uh, one of the hot topics again is the whole will smith thing so that's one of the interviews they got coming up here as you scroll down you can explore by topics you got recent questions that were asked and then it gives you the option to upvote those questions so if uh, if you liked it basically and then underneath that we're going to have some popular answer clips so it looks like just some little uh, video responses uh, to some questions there so we got that and then uh, underneath that as we keep going down we have some recent interviews so what I'm going to take that as is that they had the interviews they were live and then they have the pre-recorded version of it so if you missed it live then you can watch it again here and it looks like that's all there is there so let's go back to the top here Let's go ahead and click into an interview and just see so it makes it more big and full screen here. Of course, over on the side, it does want you to subscribe. You do have some of the questions that were asked there, and it looks like it's currently sorted by uh, most upvoted, but you can, of course, change that as well. And as you scroll down, you can kind of just read the questions and you can upvote them if you'd like to. And then I believe there's more questions. It's just it's only showing so many, and then you can uh, see more. All right, and then over on the left, it's basically just going to show you that interview, tell you you know a little bit, tidbit about it. It's got some of the uh, categories down there. You can click to ask the questions, which I assume shows them up over on the right-hand side, some of the genres that they're saying the interview is about, and then it shows you the host. So it gives you a lot of great information about the interview and gives you a lot of ways to interact with it. So I think it's going to be a pretty cool feature there for those of you that are in, into this here. All right. And then basically you, little sub tabs here, if you click home, just brings you right back to the uh, home page of the interviews. The interview uh, tab is where we were. If we click on answers, then uh, we're going to basically come into where it's got answers and you can go by different topics up top. But your little video responses uh, there show up under answers. And then my questions is going to be any questions that you ask. So you've got your submitted questions, ones that you're following, ones that you upvoted. So it's going to show all that there. As a, uh, a fun little thing here, I don't know, again, how long I'm going to have CNN Plus, but like I said, I'm going to subscribe for a short time period at least. So as a fun thing, let's go ahead and uh, drop your, your questions that you may want me to ask uh, down in the comments below. Now, uh, keep them as professional questions. We're not going to ask any silly or outlandish questions, you know, things that are serious that we want to get answers to. Let me know down in the comments below. We'll go ahead and formulate some questions. We'll uh, send them over. I'll create a, uh, a, a separate video where we send those questions in and then a follow-up video as well as probably some stuff on social media of those questions being answered. I think it might be kind of fun. So, you know, we'll at least have CNN Plus probably for a couple months here. So definitely make sure as you watch this video, if you want to send some questions in without you creating your own account, then let me know in the comments and we'll go ahead and get that started. I think it might be kind of fun. Let me know your thoughts down below. Now, I did want to just take a quick second here as we're going through this and just kind of let you know that there, there's some weird things that we will notice as we continue to look at some other stuff here and some things that I think they could have added or things they could have made better. But again, it literally just launched. So I think there's going to be tweaks and things that are made over time. 
that uh, you know right now we're just we're gonna see some of those so some things may look a bit different depending on when you watch this video and how long the uh, the service and application has been out so bear that in mind that there's gonna be some changes let's take a look at the TV channels here so like I said we won't really be able to do too much to it without having a cable provider but if you look you can verify your TV provider and then down underneath that shows you what channels you'll access if you click to verify it's gonna bring up some of the popular uh, cable services there you can click view all and it actually has a pretty extensive list here I mean I, I don't even know that there's this many in existence but it uh, clearly shows that there's no end to the uh, cable providers that are out there so I'm pretty sure you're gonna have no issue finding the cable provider that you may subscribe to in this list here so as you scroll down we're not gonna go through every single one of them but there's quite a few in here so you'll find yours and you'll log into it to be able to gain access to this here. And I did want to point out as we're scrolling down here that it does have Hulu. So if you do subscribe to Hulu with live TV, then you'll still be able to access it there just as you would. So good to know. And if you click here, it just tells you that, you know, they're, they're going to be adding more over time. So if it's not listed, just keep waiting, I guess. Let's go ahead and actually subscribe. When you click on subscribe, it's gonna bring this box up here. Now, I kind of forgot, I read an article a few months back that was talking about them potentially um, having a half off for life option for a limited time. And I really didn't look much into it and I kind of forgot about it when I made yesterday's video. But it looks like when you go to subscribe, they do offer that half off for life. So it's a really great option. I mean, to get CNN Plus that I think, you know, is gonna be pretty great even though I'm not a huge CNN fan it's got a lot of great stuff for it for only three dollars a month it's not horrible but because it's really not my cup of tea I mean it, they'd probably have to get me at a dollar fifty a month maybe 199 but I'd say comfortably a dollar fifty a month for me to just kind of set it and forget it and and just have it if I need it kind of thing at three dollars a month it's still a little too much with all the different streaming services out there and everyone's going up on prices three dollars a month for life for me is just it's just too much but again it's not really my cup of tea so for some of you three dollars a month to have cnn and all the great things they're going to have uh, it might be what's worth it for you so definitely make sure you jump on that offer before april 26th otherwise it's going to obviously go up in price for you even right now if you're thinking of getting it for a long period of time it's better than the yearly price so i would jump on it before that date expires even if you are the person who only wants to try it out for a couple months, obviously it's still cheaper at that $2.99 a month. So no matter what, if you're thinking about it, definitely jump on before this date expires so you don't miss out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sign up here. While I'm signing up, I do want to just let you know off camera, I did test CNN Plus on a few different devices and it's still early, but as of right now, it doesn't seem like it's on a lot of different devices yet. Um, I, I didn't test on all of them, so there will be more testing going forward, but I did test it over on Roku TV, and the only thing that comes up CNN related is still CNN Go, which they're going to be doing away with on most devices. I don't know how it's going to happen on Roku just yet, but it only had CNN Go, and when you go into it, it just wants you to log in with your cable provider. It doesn't give any option to log in with CNN Plus credentials, so unfortunately it didn't work. I did also try it over on NVIDIA Shield and had a pretty similar experience they don't have a cnn plus app in the play store on the shield yet so unfortunately i wasn't able to try it there either we will try it on some other devices going forward but that's what we currently have so hopefully they start unlocking it and adding it to different um, app stores in the future so let me know down below guys what price would you be comfortable paying for cnn plus now of course there's going to be different people. I know there's going to be some of you that, you know, have to have CNN and you'll pay five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks a month for it, whatever it might be. And we're going to have some of those people that, you know, would only pay a dollar a month for it. But I'm just curious to see what people are thinking out there. At what price point would you say to have CNN Plus as a separate application versus having this stuff put into what will be the new HBO Max kind of thing? What price would you be comfortable paying for it at a monthly rate? going forward let me know down below all right and there you have it we are now cnn plus people all right so 
like I said, you know, it's it's not really ready to work on all devices just yet, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll be coming soon, sooner rather than later. But we now at least can access it over here on the computer. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And I do notice that it gives us a new thing up top that says my watch list. So we'll take a look at that in a second. First, I wanna go over into the profile and just kind of poke around in there and see what we have. So let's go ahead and pull up settings. You'll notice it looks a bit different up at the top now. I think it pretty much brings you to like this full CNN website. It does tell me I have to verify my email, so I'll make sure to go ahead and do that later. And then you're gonna have your basic account info. There's some things that are optional, like your display name, of course. You can uh, adjust your location so it kind of gets some of the location-based information for you there. You can look at your subscription. Of course, we're not going to change anything with ours. We're going to keep it in that 50% um, off for life there. We don't want to mess with that. You can you know, do things with uh, setting up for newsletters. And that's really all there is to it currently. But if you do scroll back up to the top, you will notice that there's a little profile picture section. So of course you can add a photo there if you'd like to. And we do have a live TV button, but when you click on that, it just brings you back over to verify your TV provider. So that's really all there is to it there. So let's add something to our watch list. So if we go over to interview club, I want to add this interview here. So let's go ahead and click add to watch list and it should pop up up here. So let's go ahead and click on the watch list and see if it pops up. All right, perfect. So we now have one item on our watch list. So I'm gonna actually go kind of scour and find some things here that I wanna add over to the watch list. So it, some things are gonna be uh, just a little random and whatnot, but we're just gonna find a few things to add over to the watch list. While I am adding things over to the watch list, I did wanna point out, and we'll see it here shortly, that one of the weird things that I'm hoping they change over time is that when you look at some of these, uh, whatever you want to call them, shows or things, when you look at the content, it doesn't really show you like how long they are. It doesn't really give you that much details about the content. I don't know if it's a series. I don't know if it's just a one episode thing. I don't know if it's a movie. I mean, it doesn't really give us any information. Really, when you go into it, as you'll see, all it does is just have like a play button. Now, of course, when you click play, it's going to show you like the bar and how long it is, you know, to get from the beginning to the end. But it just is kind of strange that it doesn't give you any information ahead of time. So I know it's not a huge deal, but let's just say you only have 30 minutes. Maybe you're on a lunch break or, you know, something, something that's causing you to only have a certain time frame it'd be nice to be able to look at the different things maybe that are in your watch list. And if it says 30 minutes, you know, you can watch it. If it says an hour or an hour and a half, you know, you can't watch it. Instead of having to pick each item, click play, and then find out, it's just, to me, it's kind of odd. So I do hope that's something they fix over time, as well as it would be nice to kind of see some of the details like, you know, um, maybe who, who made it or, you know, maybe a little synopsis about it. I just, it's just kind of odd that when you go into things, all it shows is, is just like a play button really. And maybe it's just me, but let me know down below what your thoughts are on that. All right. So now that we got these things added, let's take a look at what our watch list now looks like. All right, guys, but that's all we really have here for the first look at CNN plus there's going to definitely be more to come. Let me know down below if there's a certain things with CNN plus you want me to look at, or if there's certain questions you have that I can answer for you, I will make sure to do my best. Of course, if there's anything I forgot in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. If there's anything that you noticed that I forgot, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. But I do hope I was able to answer maybe some questions for you about CNN Plus or just kind of show you what it's all about, as well as show you that that 50% off for life is a great option. If you're thinking about having CNN Plus, you don't want to miss out on that deal. So make sure you sign up before that deal ends. So we will definitely be testing this out a lot more. And we're going to have a lot more information as it kind of unfolds with the merger going on very soon with Discovery and Warner Media. 
So things could completely change here in the near future. But let me know your thoughts down below. Are you going to be subscribing to CNN Plus? And what do you think of it so far? We may be posting some stuff about CNN Plus over on social media, so make sure to check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Real Nerd Circle. But I would appreciate if you could share this video across any social media platform that you like. Of course, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps us out here. It lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified of any new videos to come out. You can also follow the links on the screen to the older videos. And until next time, guys, stay nerdy.